feeling fired up for, for Arkansas? Uh, right now we're just using uh, motivation, just wanting to finish strong. Uh, the coaches, they've really been harping on us to tell us just to stay focused. Uh, don't let any outsiders, uh, you know, contribute to what's going on. Let us stick together and gel as a team and finish up strong and the rest of it will take care of itself. Tori, uh, Steven and Mo said after the Tennessee game that they were really going to take it upon themselves to kind of make practice a little more intense, uh, have a little faster tempo. Uh, after last night, have you seen that from those two guys? Yeah, um, they're, they're doing their part, and everyone else is holding themselves accountable to go out and make plays. Uh, physically, you know, we're a little tired, and, you know, we're trying to get through the season. But, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to dig deep and, you know, just be ready for these next games and hopefully go out and win. Tori, you know, a lot of fans are kind of like, here we go again. We're going to fold down the stretch. But you and a lot of other guys are kind of new to this. Is it, is it kind of irritating, you know, to, to ha have people talk about, like, here we go again, but, you know, you're really a new, a new team and a bunch of new guys? Uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know anything about it. You know, last year, you know, I was a redshirt freshman, and I got to watch and see what was going on. But uh, when you're in the shoes, you know, it, right now we're just focused. And, um, you know, some people like bringing up the past, but we only worry about the present. And that's Arkansas, so we're going to continue to work hard and prepare for them. Tori, talk about what you've learned in your uh, first year of playing against uh, SEC uh, uh, defensive backs, and and, and uh, what do you what do you learn last year when you were registered and going up against Captain Mullen and Tony Richardson and guys like that? Um, just the intensity of play. Um, I never get distracted by the venues we're in, uh, and. Just having fun, you know, I'm going out and playing. Last year, you know, I watched those guys go out and have fun, but just being a part of it, you know, it, it wakes me up every morning and gives me something to work hard for. So, you know, Alshon and I, we just continue to compete in practice. And, um, you know, we every little thing you can think of, you know, we compete about it. We're just trying to push each other as well as the rest of the receiver core. Hey, Tori. Uh, you mentioned you know that being in the past uh, and all that has that been addressed with the coach? You know, have the coaches addressed that with you about don't worry about the end of the season, what's going on here previously. This is a new year. Yeah, the coaches just tell us to focus on our. Uh, they they ask us to focus on our opponent, and you know don't worry about anything. And you know the rest of it's going to take care of itself. So. You know, like I said before, we're just worried about Arkansas and getting this win there. But has anything been addressed specifically about this end of the season stretch? No, it's just uh, executing and mentally being, you know, prepared to play. Uh, you know, right now a lot of guys are dinged up and, you know, we're just we're getting through the season. But uh, Coach told us that we just mentally stay in tune with the game, then the rest of it's going to take care of itself. Do you ever find yourself playing the what-if game if all those, those four touchdowns you scored and that not been called back? Uh, not really. You know, it happened for a reason because, uh, you know, the four touchdowns got called back, but Alshon ended up scoring four or five himself. And as a team, we just learned from our mistakes. So hopefully, you know, I'm quite sure, you know, the opportunity is going to come for me to get in the end zone. And when it does, you know, hopefully everything will go right. Um, let me ask the eternal question of how close do you think you and Alshon are to be able to play at the same time? Um, <clears throat> we're, we're still working on it. You know, there are a lot of positions that, that can be played, but we have a core of receivers that are really good. And uh, we just don't want to take away from anyone else because we have, you know, Jason Barnes, he's playing well, Mo Brown, D.L. Moore, uh, Stephen Flint. I mean, you know, we just have a core of guys that are very talented. So. You know, it really doesn't matter if me and Alshon on the field at the same time because everyone is being productive. Tori, I think, you know, the average fan hears this kind of talk and figures, well, if you can play one receiver position, you ought to be able to play all three. What is it about your particular talents or Moe's that makes you more suitable, you know, to one as opposed to the slot? Um, I don't know. It, the coaches that have to tell you about that, I just know that everyone compliments each other. You know, if someone can run fast and you have another guy that's not as fast, but 
uh, doesn't mind going across the middle and doing the dirty work. So, you know, as long as we're, you know, complementing each other as a core, it makes up for everything we don't have. What do you see on film about the Arkansas secondary? I think they're, they're last in the SEC in the past defense. Have they given up a lot of yards this year? Um, the coaches, they they just been, you know, really on us about just executing and, and being ready to, you know, receive the ball and to make plays. Uh, in the Tennessee game, you know, Mo Brown, I think he, was, he made the only play you know, of the game, a big play. And we have guys that can make plays. So as long as, you know, we're putting ourselves in the – position to go out and execute, we should be all right on Saturday. What about what about playing a day game on the road versus playing a night game? I think the first four road games we played this year have been at night. Um, you know, is there, be, is there going to be a difference, and is there a difference not having to hang around the hotel all day? Yeah, uh, Coach is uh, mentally prepared us for that. He's probably going to wake us up uh, early this week. Probably starting tomorrow, probably for breakfast and everything, just to get adjusted to uh, playing in, in the afternoon. Well, the morning game, basically, because I think it'll be 11:30 uh, that time. So, uh, you know, he's gonna do things to, to uh, have us sharp for the game on Saturday.